Meanwhile, meanwhile, the crazy witch lady and her crazy witch best middle-aged friend uh, discover a hot fella. My prince has come. Oh no! And they're like, "Oh, I, I need to have him in me." This so, <laughs> <laughs> I am I wrong? Am I wrong? No, this is exactly no. what happens. Faye Dunaway sees this random guy she's never met before and says, "No, no." Before she met this random guy, she's talking about ruling the world. Yes. Oh yeah. I have. We don't have to worry about anything. We're gonna have control over everything. And then she meets the guy, she and instantly even, she doesn't even meet him. She, she, she just sees him, and that's all she cares about after that. Yeah. Well, to be fair. The first time you see this guy, he does have his shirt off. Listen, listen. <laughs> I don't want to put Hart Bachner down. He's a handsome motherfucker. <laughs> he really is. Let's not let's not do that because he's a handsome looking guy, and there's no reason that ladies should be shouldn't be chasing him. But what kills me about this is that it's like Faye Dunaway never left her house. <laughs> and she's like, wait a minute, there's a hot guy in my town? Yeah. I need to make some, some, some formula to make that happen in my pants. Oh, and, and by the way, when she finally like gets to conquering the world, she can make a mountain appear. She gets an army of goons where it's yeah. just like, you couldn't get a man after this? <laughs> like, that's the proper sequence is take over the world, then get laid. She uses her magic with witchcraft and the new orb thing that she's found to make this man fall in love with her. He who drinks the water shall be in love with the first person he sees. Does she have a plan to take over the earth? <laughs> Does she? What the fuck is that? <laughs> What is she using the magical orb for? Yeah, to take over the earth. But ahead. she's working, she's making a love potion for the guy she just met. That's that's all she's done. Yeah. Oh, so is that far. what she's doing? That's what she said that whoever will drink from this will fall in love with the first person in the yada yada. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. This is what's going on in the movie. So she's wasting time with that rather than taking over the earth. Listen, she is a strong, independent woman, and if she wants some loving, don't hold that against her world domination oh. plans. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck everything. There's no plot. Yeah. No. There's no, well, no, there's a plot. They forgot about it. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, if only we would have known, we could have had a theme of, like, elderly vigilantes. <laughs> if only we would have known before oh! Blood Hurts. <laughs> you, I'm just the driver. To be fair, he does do all of his own stunts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, napping. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Cameron Mitchell doesn't do his own stunts. There's one shot where he has to walk, and it's clear it's a stunt double. That's right. That's right. That's right. He got up from a bed. Yeah. He got up from a bed. That was his stunt. Oh, that's that's when he was wearing his his bed robe. His, oh, just, yeah. Just, yeah. just just his hood. Just the hood. <laughs> None of, yeah, this is all just Cameron Mitchell, and he's got a ro like a Palpatine robe on. But like one from like a, a, a dollar store. Yeah, and, and sunglasses, and he spends the whole movie slumped over, mumbling lines that are so incomprehensible that they had to hire another actor to say them again into a megaphone. <laughs> just keep the camera as far away from him as possible. <laughs> Please. Smells like booze. <laughs> so he can't see the stink lines coming off. <laughs> I wish she's reading his dialogue for him. <laughs> I, I do like when Cameron Mitchell was, was getting intimate with the lady, he still kept his robe and his sunglasses on. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just the robe, it wasn't attached to anything. No, no, it was just the hood. He's like... Oh my god. Oh. Oh. He's just wearing the hood! He's <laughs> just wearing the hood! That's a different sleeping outfit. <laughs> This is his sex robe. <laughs> <It is. laughs> uh, what? what? <laughs> Pretty good day, huh? Mm. It's not too cold. Thanks. <laughs> good idea having a picnic. Mm -hmm. Two of us together. That was some pretty good acting. <laughs> just, uh, just generally. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh no, my chicken! Oh. This is this is what happens to me every time I try to have a picnic. <laughs> Shoot him up. Uh -huh. Bunch of random dudes with guns just cackling at me. Right. <laughs> hey you. Hey monkey. Get your bananas. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> 
walk towards this thing I can weaponize. So no offense, man, but you're old as fuck. Why are you going after someone who's like half your age? Oh, there we go. So started with the gun. He wanted it to be personal. I, I don't know. Don't make excuses for him. <laughs> Uh -oh. By the rock. way, look, he's gonna kick it back on the fairway, and he's, well, that's gonna kill him. This is totally happening. Play it where it lies! <laughs> <laughs> or is he gonna come out and like demand you put the ball back first? Oh wait, no, someone just did something. Someone did a switcher with the yep. ball. Good job, Blood Dead. <laughs> oh, I will move into the table. Scotty will touch my legs. Perfect. Down we go. And I tuck in one hand. And that's actually her husband. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little young for me, but. Uh... I, I know There's a tiny little redheaded boy <laughs> uh, who Marjorie has always posed next to, and we. we... We assumed that might be her new husband, <laughs> as her old husband was too old. His body was too old. Well, we tried. came up with a, it's like get out, but yeah. instead of black people, you take their brains and put them into small children, yeah. and then that's your new husband. And, uh, and yeah. I think it was Jack who said she loves the feel of a little tiny hand on her <laughs> no, that was me. That was you? Yeah, that was oh, me. Oh, that was the best one <laughs> Thank in the night. <laughs> I don't think it was recorded. If no, it been like during. Oh, yeah. Huh? We have a what? microphone. We've been live streaming Mom. this whole night. No, of course. just talking. <laughs> the mind, the body of a four year old boy yes, with yes. the mind it's of a 50 year old boy. Oh, that makes so everything different. okay. Yeah, with it's the a hand. hand. Yeah. <laughs> with the hand of a four year old boy right. gripping. It's the pornography cinematic universe. Big, big, big California hunks, butt fucking grandma. This is gonna be the next tape. Does it start off with with grandpa's hand, like you know, slowly turning the oxygen up? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna need it. <laughs> and here comes Reno. <laughs> oh, it's all it's all gonna lead up to the fisting gauntlet. <laughs> The what? The, the, the infisting gauntlet. <laughs> <laughs> the, the oh! I think he's, I'm out. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep talking about butt fucking. <laughs> right? <laughs> God, this job is so boring. It's putting me to sleep faster than Bill Cosby. Hey, did you hear Bill Cosby was recently spotted at an AA meeting? Really? I didn't know Bill Cosby was an alcoholic. Oh, no, it was a meeting for amateur anesthesiologists. <laughs> hey, did you know Bill Cosby used to do ads for puddin' pops? Well, now pops is putting it in them. <laughs> Hey, did you know Bill Cosby kept all of his sweaters from The Cosby Show? Really? Those sweaters always seem so hot and stuffy to me. Yeah, he'd let the ladies wear them, hoping they'd pass out. Hey, Jay, how do Bill Cosby's dates spell Jell-O? How? J-E-L. Hey, do you know what Bill Cosby's wife's nickname for him is? What's that? Serial rapist. Hey, speaking of falling asleep and getting raped, have you seen Ant-Man? Yep. Well, I believe now we should talk about Ant-Man. So, Jay, why do you think everyone on the internet hates Christopher Nolan? I, you know, I don't know. I don't pay a lot of attention to it. I try to avoid the extreme negativity because yeah. well, I just don't care, but... Um, I've, heard, I've heard the elderly hate him the most. Why would the elderly hate him? I don't know. They just... They just fucking hate him. The elderly all get on their message boards and they go to the bingo hall hmm. 
and it, it's the talk, uh, all the talk of the town in the bingo hall. Really? They say Christopher Nolan, his movies have so many plot holes. Just everything. He's everything? an overrated hack. Huh? B twenty three, bingo. It's not a, a, a retarded thirteen year olds that that read things on websites and just copy and paste it as their own opinion. They're not the ones that are saying horrible things about him. No, it's the elderly. Okay, well, that's uh, good yeah, to know. I, I don't it's know a good why. frame of reference. They're very angry about Inception. Wow. Well, it's clearly a situation like that where this lady who he's, has done a lot of work before. Sure. No one else has worked in this movie ever. Yeah. And, the, and so she comes on set and, you know, I don't know how old she was. Uh, 40s it looks something. Right, yeah, early and then, 40s. And so she's like, oh, you know, like, oh, I'm still a young actress. And they, yeah. they didn't want to say, like, no, you should play the grandma, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. The wig doesn't help. And then, yeah, yes. well, let's put a wig on you. Let's overdo the makeup, and you're gonna play like a sexy young woman. And then it's like, Neh. and then we're gonna shoot an awkward scene where you, where half of your nipple is hanging out, yes. just half of it, yes. which won't translate because we're gonna have to censor it. I think that there might have been a deal um, that that Rich could see into the past, and he somehow divined this that it was that she would only allow them to show one nipple. So yes. the compromise was half of two nipples, <laughs> right? <laughs> But there's, it's a pretty awkward. And it's not uh, even like a, a sexy scene. It's her on the phone. Yes. Yeah, it's weird. Right. It's all around weird. Uh, to me, the most important scene of the movie is Grandma Stripper. <laughs> <laughs> we forgot about Grandma Stripper. <laughs> the unsexiest stripper in all of Los Angeles. Just yeah. So this this is this is how we introduce Johnny Meatface back into Los Angeles. Is he's at this bar wearing the the, the bright purple matching yes. uh, top and Strange short shorts, shorts. Yeah. set and he's in this bar where they could, there's a the stripper and you first you see just her feet and it looks like a horse because she's not bending her knees so it's just like these these silver legs going like this and then you pan up and holy god the boobs it's it's the the biggest pair of cans on the sweetest old lady face you'd ever <laughs> see <laughs> <laughs> oh. she, she looks like someone's aunt or grandma, and she's just having a great time flopping these things all around. Also, no idea how to dance. No, no. She had a toy gun, if I recall. Right? And a cop she's like, yeah, yeah. Shit, girl. I bet you got back problems. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, old people. <laughs> home sweet home, garden spot of the U.S. Real estate market still going on. Serious. Isn't too bad. I feel real embarrassed if they're wanting to film this movie in my neighborhood. <laughs> we need the post-apocalypse. <laughs> Can we use your front yard? Do you want us to take the realty sign down? <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> Maybe it'll help sell the house. <laughs> 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 I have to sell my house. This neighborhood's a real shithole. No, don't worry, no one's gonna see this film. <laughs> I would say the grocery yeah. store bags are very nice. They yeah. look like they're made out of the same material that Kate Winslet's dress at the Oscars was made out of. It was like this, like this black latex looking shit. Was it? Yeah. I didn't watch the. Jay, Oscars did either. you get possessed by the spirit of Joan Rivers? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought the um, the plot was serviceable. I mean, you can't get too. Well, plotty with a movie like yeah, this. Yeah, this is a movie that really isn't about the plot. It's And every time there was stretches of exposition or science jargon, my eyes just sort of glazed over. Yeah. I was like, when is, when is Scarlett Johansson going to kick somebody? So, when are we going to see her hindquarters? There, there are a number of shots like that in the movie. Yeah, we yeah. should point out that this is a movie that has a little something for everybody. Mm -hmm. you, know, you get, you got uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson in tight black leather. But you also get Mark Ruffalo nude with Harry Dean Stanton. Right. So they had a checklist. They're like, which dude should take all their clothes off? Chris Evans? No. Chris Hemsworth? No. Mark Ruffalo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you know what'll make the scene even, even hotter? Harry Dean Stanton. Harry Dean Stanton. He's 90 years old, and he can barely walk. That's Mark, hot. put on these dirty clothes. Yeah. This music, it's, I feel like it's getting louder, like <laughs> they're trying to do some sort of subliminal mind thing. It's the sound of heaven getting closer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> they're kicking up the dance party now. Yeah, yeah. it's getting exciting. Switch four. 
So, so you're saying with this video, there may be time travel involved, and one of these elderly people is possibly really Mike? Uh, okay. He's the guy in the. He's the guy with the oxygen. Oh, okay. That's, that's Mike. why. It, All right. That's why it looked like a Star Wars droid. Yeah, it was a yeah. signal to us. <laughs> Mike was trying to let us know. Okay. In the future, he made exercise videos. Well, I guess in the future he traveled to the past. This is very complicated. To make exercise videos. Yeah. I invented the osteoporosis dance. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we, we really didn't move here because I had a revelation of being a small town doc instead of the drudgery of the big city of, in politics of suburbia. You didn't do it to spend more time with me either, did you? Your father had a drink has, has a drinking problem. One day at a time and all that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy is the first and last entry in Universal's Dark Universe Cinematic Universe, or the UDUCU for short. It stars Tom Cruise as a confused elderly man who seems unaware what movie he's in, who uncovers an ancient tomb that unleashes Sophia Butella as a soul-sucking mummy. At last, cinema now has that sexy mummy that we've all been clamoring for. The movie co-stars Russell Crowe, Jake Johnson as Griffin Dunn, and a blonde woman who will work for scale. Mike, what did you think of The Mummy? Well, Jay, I know this film has been getting bad reviews, but I have to say, I loved it. No, I'm just fucking with you. It sucked. <laughs> um, it might have been the worst film I've ever seen. Oh, my baby! My baby! Please, someone save my baby! <laughs> <laughs> The son, who is is not a cop. He's the one who takes the action. He's yeah. the one who, who risks the life of the little girl. If any more kids are gonna die, it stops here, Stover! Hey, back! Bagels! He missed! He missed! He missed! <laughs> he, missed. <laughs> <laughs> he missed with the stupid bagels! <laughs> it was just a distraction. It was a distraction. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that guy could have just been like, Shot and shot the little girl in the head. Yeah. <laughs> it was a calculated risk. I had. <laughs> it was just the life of a little girl. I didn't want to kill her, but the fuckers threw bagels at me. <laughs> what more can I do? All for baloney. <laughs> All right, so uh, Steve Barquette has a girlfriend or wife or somebody that he sleeps with who's a journalist. And she goes to what seems like antebellum Georgia. You have never sought publicity before, so why have you contacted the press? Oh no, it's Joe Plato! Ah! <laughs> With straight gray hair! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> He's playing an old man! <laughs> That's amazing! Wow! <laughs> oh, no, He's walking! He's got like a little limp and everything. <laughs> Oh my oh. god! Joe Pilato, who... Of, of Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead fame. I'm running this monkey farm now, Frankenstein, and I want to know what the fuck you're doing with my time! Joe Pilato's hair is sprayed gray, and he's doing a little old man walk. <laughs> it's so it's, preposterous. It's the most adorable thing. <laughs> this entire movie I would describe as adorable. <laughs> Everything about it, you just go, aww. But what you don't know is that one of those murdered girls was my daughter. Oh, Mr. Zupan, I am so sorry. And remember, when you're an old, you can't move too much because your bones are brittle and your muscles are deteriorating and your body's falling apart in front of your very eyes. And that's where the hilarity comes in. <laughs> Hips and shoulders pressed to the back. That's a lot of white pants for people who are probably wearing diapers. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get brown oh. pants? <laughs> 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 We have celebrated the commonality of women's She looks like Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say it's uh, Louie Anderson. <laughs> and are beginning to move into a new phase. 
We have celebrated that music <laughs> with a cloning ritual. Every day we are born. Every Why day. Why are you filming Grandma? You know she's got <laughs> dementia. <laughs> Many women write verse, essays, poetry, or words of wisdom. Like Lois. I'd like to talk to you about the next Star Wars spin-off <laughs> film. <laughs> oh, Star Wars a crone story? <laughs> Right you get you get Jabba the Hutt's mother, Mon Mothma. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, yeah. There's not a lot of old ladies in Star Wars. Leia. I would say Aunt Peru, but she got burnt up. <laughs> <laughs> She's there in spirit. She got Aunt Peru's Jedi spirit. Okay. Who does she look like? Yeah, she looks like like um, a man. Like which man? I mean, <laughs> the face. Brian Denny. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Looks like Babe Ruth. He's, he's ordering a headstone for his, his dead dog. I want you to get a tombstone for the little dog. A nice one, okay? With her name and the day she... You know what I mean. And then at that moment, Nighthawk is fed up. And Cameron Mitchell's talking about his dog headstone <laughs> while the window is slowly going up. And he doesn't, he doesn't even think to move his fingers. Just look on his face. He's going to kill Cameron Mitchell. Oh, she's going to do it. Oh. Yeah. What you move your hands? <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming if Marvel had the the rights to, uh, if Disney's Marvel whatever had the rights to Spider-Man earlier, they would try and establish him, seeds of him in an earlier film or something. Here it's just like, I'm gonna go visit this kid that you've never heard of before. It's the most fun scene in the movie. The scene when he goes and It's the only scene where Tony Stark feels like Tony Stark. Yeah, he's very dour in this one. He has yeah. a couple little moments. Him coming on to like, or making comments about how hot Aunt May is. Well, they, they had to put that in there, because the minute you cast Marissa Tomei, that's every message board on every website ever is like, I feel weird about being attracted to Aunt May now. I was always attracted to Aunt May. He did a marvelous job acting like a washed up, drunken police officer. And he's only 35, right? Uh, <laughs> no, one of the I wouldn't know. This is at his most washed out. I don't know. Have you ever seen the uh, the infomercial that he did, where he was? I need to know. He was trying, he was trying to sell a rubber hose. Did you not hear about this? <laughs> oh, no. Okay, look it up on YouTube. Is it hard to sell a rubber hose? It's David Carradine. Was he, was he examining like how you? Can <laughs> Uh, it's really flexible. This is this is back. It's like an infomercial, like kind of <laughs> days where people were kind of coming up with these like exercise uh, gimmicks, like yeah. little things. So you know, whatever. Shake weight. Shake weight, stuff like that. And uh, it's uh, infomercial with him in his backyard, and he's trying to sell this this hose that you can do tai chi with but he didn't have the actual like hose built so he used to stand in that was just a rubber garden hose <laughs> and look it up it's on youtube it is the funniest thing you'll ever see and he's like you know you can do all these things with it and his dog his dog is sitting in the background of the shot and at one point his dog is so ashamed it gets up and walks out of the shot <laughs> You know, you could stand here and do it like this, right? So the one plot point that they actually follow through on is essentially the psychic young lady. Young in a cosmic uh, timeline. Okay. Right. Like Age of the Universe timeline. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, Big Bang Young. <laughs> like, <laughs> Big Bang Young. Um, that could be a porn star name, but she basically, her and Tom Solo. <laughs> And then we see Mark Hamill in the end. This is the best acting job Mark Hamill has ever done. <laughs> 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 now
Now, Jay, I understand you had a problem with the last shot. Uh, it is a minor nitpick. Yeah, the like distance. I like the the idea behind it. I like the the emotion of it. But you know, she, she you know, holds out his lightsaber and he stands there, and and we cut the credits. It would have been great. If it was a static shot or just a close up of Luke or something. But it's like this awkward helicopter shot that's like spinning around them. And you see the the shadow of the helicopter too on the ground. No, you. Don't. Yeah, you do. I saw it. I don't believe you. We don't have. Yeah, no, some kind of like low angle where they're like silhouetted or yeah, you know, or, or like a dolly out or dolly yeah. in. Also, I didn't like the so. fact that she went there in like broad daylight. I'm, I'm assuming like uh, that's that island in uh, off of Ireland, and it's like really dangerous and weird, and nobody could go on the island, and maybe they couldn't film at night because there was like someone would fall off the cliffs. You think it just would have been more exciting if it was like dark and mysterious? Yeah, and... it was like broad daylight, and it kind of looked like a tourism video. <laughs> and it's like visit Ireland. <laughs> And then, you know, some more dramatic lighting, like when sure, we see Luke, sure. and so he's just kind of standing there. I think he was urinating. <laughs> and, and, he, and he's like, oh, I better just uh, stand here for a few more minutes so it looks mysterious. <laughs> and he, puts, he puts his little lightsaber away and then, excuse me, oh, 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 oh it's me. I wasn't pissing. <laughs> <laughs> doing what is this doing for you <laughs> how does this work <laughs> he's holding this that's his chi moving it around where you go <laughs> i don't know what i just did <laughs> where's, where's my where's my 50 bucks <laughs> they forgot to cut that out i'm going to lead you in an exercise that was developed to help increase your rotation and your mobility and strength within your lower arm. It is going to also help with the idea of how you can manipulate the stick to and fro, not just side to side, um. so that it has a rotation in life of itself. <laughs> that way as well. Big you get. <laughs> okay, we're talking good energy. Good energy should be fun. Fun should be a priority with this particular device. Any way you want to adventure around and just enthusiastically play is far more important than thinking that you know what you're doing. Just enjoy it. Say <laughs> uh, <laughs> you look like an asshole. <laughs> How long can this go on for? You know, walking down the street, you got it. Whatever you do, yeah, it's, right. it's having like a, a, a living. Energy. Uh -huh. Ooh, okay. Okay. Store? <laughs> oh, it's a grocery <laughs> store. Shoot them all! Shoot it up! Kill that grandma! Oh, there we go! Oh my god, I this love is great. this! Yeah. <laughs> this is <Yes>. big! <laughs> this is so great! No witness! <laughs> oh, my god. oh, that was a nice one! Oh, it looks like grandpa's something in that chair. Yeah. yeah. Oh, now this is getting ready for that anal video. <laughs> the elderly grandma anal video. Oh, are you talking about, I want to butt f your grandma? <laughs> is that the video you're talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it's oh, going to happen. Oh, <laughs> shit. She's wearing white. Yes. Oh! oh! Yes, a morning star to the head. Oh. Dang. <laughs> Fuck that grandma up! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Oh, it started. Oh, cool. Just in time. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is the 1998 Avengers with Uma Thurman, Ray Fiennes, and Shaquille O'Neal. Don't you mean Sean Connery? Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. I always get them confused. Yeah, it's understandable. They're both black. I've got so much to do, I'll never get done. I'm going to continue hacking into these government systems to see what I can find out. Boys. About all this national and international corruption I know is going on. 
If you have your first period at the dining table, <laughs> take your napkin in your right hand and dab. Blot. <laughs> Blot. Tap, 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 tap. Is that Aunt May's alter ego, the silver streaker? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a giant silver bush run by at the speed of light. I'm getting out of this city. You can't unmask her, though, so you can't, you know, you have a hard time making that be the surprising reveal that it's Aunt May. Unless he doesn't recognize her until he puts, like, a dress on her. Oh my god, you're Aunt May! <laughs> He's so distracted by her naked, wrinkled body. Because you're looking away. That's, no, why she... That's like the perfect disguise. Is an old lady with their clothes up? Her power is that she runs so slowly. <laughs> it's, like, oh, oh, you get... it's like Medusa. Oh, Each individual wrinkle flapping yeah. in the breeze. Yeah. Do you think this is the real reason Sony's uh, Spider-Man cinematic universe completely fell apart? Because this is what they were planning for the solo Aunt May movie. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, old people. But if you can't get out fast, or your path is blocked by heat or smoke, jump out the window. <laughs> Keep the door closed to protect you from emergency the numbers. Number one is nine one one. Was the clock actually at nine one? <laughs> oh no! What happened to Mike? Nine one one. What? 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 They gotta get him fun again before he's just too old. I mean, look at look at look at Don Cheadle. Yeah, he's drying up. <laughs> the man is just drying up. I think they. I think the script had to make him a cripple because he can't walk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they had no choice. <laughs> We're talking about the young and the new and the old. It does that both? Yes. And what this has over the prequels is. Let's just get to it. You just want to talk about how Carrie Fisher's face doesn't move. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but I was going to talk about. Crippled by plastic surgery. She hasn't had plastic surgery. She's just done lots and lots of drugs. C3PO has more expression in his face. <laughs> His mouth moves more. Hey, I would say, we'll let you get back to whatever you were trying to yeah, say. Yeah, that's fine. we got to make fun of Carrie Fisher for a bit. Uh, I love Carrie Fisher. For, I'm glad she's that she's... A, she's a classy, she, crazy She's been dame. my favorite part of the Star Wars media blitz, is just seeing her back in the public eye. She's great. Uh, shows that she's still a solid actress, because she comes across like a normal human being in this movie, which she doesn't in real life, but that's why I love her. Uh, so she, she's just fine in this movie, that Carrie Fisher. What if this was the ending of Kill Bill? <laughs> she shows up at his house, there's this big lead up, and she goes into the backyard, it's just this. You're filming this yeah. terrible infomercial. <laughs> she decides to show pity on him. Here we go, Rich. What's wrong with Carrie Fisher's face? <laughs> It's too old. Her face is too old. <laughs> She's not too fat, though. You're an ageist. Right? She lost the right amount of weight. <laughs> you know what? Rich is okay with Carrie Fisher's weight, yeah. but she's too old. <laughs> she's that, that's what, when, remember when remember when we first saw Carrie Fisher. Han Solo said to Finn and Ray, he's like, he's like, just don't stare, don't stare. And then she comes out. She's got these glasses on, and I'm like, oh, Carrie Fisher's back. Remember, practice makes perfect. Oh, what are they, they going to have a, a fucking threesome? <laughs> <laughs> They're the world's oldest thruple. <laughs> We're going to the orgy. <laughs> the only fire that you should be dealing with is the fire inside your pants. <laughs> But th do you feel like this was made, or do you presume that this is made before The Howling 2? It looks like she is older. But I think it it's right around the same time. 
because it like Howling 2, not that it was a great film, but it looks it has much better t production value. And here she looks like she's an older person. Like it's old, you know, she's older in this film. But this looks like it. Are you saying it should have been called Cougar Squad? Captain <laughs> <laughs> <Gatane> Lisbeth. <laughs> <laughs> Were you giving doc, uh, the uh, detective eyebrows performance? That's what I like. can't say. Movies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset about my partner. Oh, I'm so upset about my partner. Me underwears. Me underwears. <laughs> then I'm checking off me underwears. <laughs> I wanted to see a lot more of her, and I mean that in a screen time type of way, uh -huh. uh, not in the outfit <laughs> sort of way. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I can't even explain it, but I just know that. <laughs> well, that's golden mean extraction of Fibonacci. <laughs> you see every bit of footage they had of him. He hit himself on the head with it. It's so elegant. He drops it and looks at the camera and shrugs. It doesn't matter, it's a free-for-all. Mostly I found that anyone could pick up a stick and immediately enjoy it. Anyone could pick up their stick and immediately enjoy it? I mean, that's what killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Go now, and don't screw up! But omnipresent Prexima, I... Ay, ay, ay! Bye, Bird War! Bye, Bird War! You know, they're all thinking it. Is he fucking that baboon? <laughs> baboon love interest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the monkey is a terrible idea. I'm just gonna I, well, for there. our sake, it's the best idea. Yeah. yeah. How is it? Awesome! <laughs> oh fuck. Another thing that is oftentimes done in ritualistic homicides is a penis is placed inside the mouth of the deceased person. Future Force stars 60% uh, David Carradine, 40% alcohol. <laughs> um, and... A cast of lovable biker cops and a robot power glove sleeve, right. which kind of looks like he has a prosthetic, like robotic arm, mm -hmm. but it's a glove he can take on and off that has magical powers <laughs> that he only uses sporadically <laughs> for no reason. Probably three times in the movie. A couple maybe? times. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> Ow, old people. Now we have David Carradine. Oh, I was going to say spiritual fitness. It's not. It's spiral, spiral fitness beginnings. So like Kung Fu, the legend begins, but yeah. it's spiral fitness. The, the, the legend begins. Pool noodles. Taking a look at his, his grip, and he, he really needs to choke up. <laughs> Hi. It begins. <laughs> <laughs> Rest in peace, George R. R. Martin. <laughs> <laughs> the world, the world never got to see a, a David Carradine, Cameron Mitchell team up. Oh, that'd be so good. That would have been oh, drunken fury. <laughs> <laughs> Booze and bullets. <laughs> Me and you, I got a message for you. Don't look in the closet. All right, and now the new one by the screeching maniacs. That's a message for you, David Carradine's mate. <laughs> <laughs> I sent the message to the wrong person. <laughs> Like he has hemorrhoids. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my ass. 
Ow. I'm gonna Ow. go back to autoerotic asphyxiation. That's great. How did they react before it happened? <laughs> <laughs> Is that Sam Jackson? No, that's uh, Scarlett Johansson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, old people. Mistake! It, it felt like a Star Wars movie, though, that took place in a retirement home. <laughs> <laughs> awesome! Yes, I can definitely smell shite. Fascinating. Well, I have officially seen every video ever on YouTube. Gotta say, it is not a bad one.